Hi, Tom Walls, Carbide Processors. We're going to talk about how to mix flux. It's a jar of our purified brazing flux. This is a one pound. This is black flux. It's a five pound. We also get this stuff in a five gallon bucket because we use a lot of it. What we do to mix it is that it's it's mostly solids with some water. It separate typically if it sits long enough, it'll separate. We use just an ordinary oops, kitchen mixer from a, we buy a new one from Target every year or two. We buy a cheap one and use it and flux gets in the motor or something, but we take the stuff, we take the flux out of the jar, scrape it out of the jar, put it in this. This is just a big plastic pan with a receipt. Sorry, the desk is a mess. It's been a hectic week. Emily had her baby. Uh, everybody's fine, but it's hectic here. So anyway, put take this or this or scoop it out of the big five-gallon uh, bucket, put it in here, mix it up with the kitchen mixer uh, with a little water in it. The reason we do that is we use these, we use squeeze bottles in production. A lot of our production is putting braze alloy on saw tips. Saw tips are roughly the size of dimes, so it's using tweezers to put a piece of pencil lead in the middle of a dime. And the flux has to be a certain consistency. We like these squeeze bottles because it's a real good way of keeping the flux. Uh, if you keep hold of the caps, or if you don't, or if you put a paper clip or something in there, you keep most of the air out so the water evaporates very slowly, if at all. Also, as you've seen, you can take and you can remix it because the flux will settle out. And if you're not good about the mixing, you will have a real thick cake at the bottom. Um, which is kind of wasted flux. It's not a big deal, but it is. We also have a larger bottle, but this is what, 15 ounces? This is 8 ounces. The, the larger bottle isn't as handy. These come from, this is what they look like. They come from Sally Beauty Supply, uh, because Sally Beauty Supply is up the street close to the office depot and a pretty good little burger restaurant there. So it's kind of a kind of a handy place to go and shop. It's on the way home for me or close to on the way home. So we take a bottle from a beauty supply, we take the flux, mix it up with a little water till it's a consistency we want, and then to get it in the bottle, we use a funnel. And you take a funnel, just an ordinary plastic funnel, Put it in the bottle, okay? Then you squeeze the bottle like this, put the funnel down, and then as the bottle unsqueezes, it sucks it sucks the flux in because you want the flux to be pretty thick and sludgy, but that's the way you do it. And when you're all done, you scrape the funnel and rinse it off, put it back together. That's how we get flux in squeeze bottles. We sell squeeze bottles full of flux. Um, which is an expensive way to buy flux. It depends on how much you want to mix them. Typically people, typically people will buy a couple of squeeze bottles from us and then remix their own flux. The big advantage to this though is that it keeps the flux dry and clean uh, and it makes it easy to remix. It also makes it easier to handle it, but clean flux um, Clean flux is better than flux with crud in it, although flux with crud in it can work just fine if it's, unless it's an enclosed joint like a saw tip on a saw blade, then you want the flux as clean as you can get. And purified flux actually works better because it has fewer impurities in it than an ordinary black flux. Black flux works just fine if you're coating the outside of a saw blade or something. Um, of the two we sell, about half the people prefer the purified, and about half don't see any difference, which is about what you'd expect with saw filers. So anyway, that's a little bit about mixing flux. Thank you. Have a good weekend.